Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, you're gonna to get to see some of the smallest birds in the world hatching in an incubator. Now, if you're not familiar with finches, these birds lay very small eggs and the chicks are extremely small as well. They're about the size of a human's fingernail. And in today's video, you're gonna to get to see me hand feeding some of these very small day old chicks. And I'll be answering a couple of different questions that you guys have been asking me over the past several months. Now I've answered these questions in the comment section, but I thought I'd make a video about it. That way I'm able to help out others who may have these same exact questions. So let's get started with the video. One of the most commonly asked questions that I get is, do you have to give them water? And the answer is no. The hand feeding formula that we give these birds is already mixed with water so they get all of the moisture that they need from that formula itself. You do not have to feed them water. Question number two is how do you feed a baby bird? Well there's a variety of different ways that you can hand feed baby birds and it all depends on the species but generally speaking there are three different methods that can be used. Spoon feeding, feeding with a syringe, and crop feeding and I've made a video about this in the past and I'm gonna have that video linked in the description below if you're interested in learning a little bit more of the specifics of each one of these different methods you can go ahead and click on that link below and it'll take you directly to the video question number three is what hand feeding formula do you use personally I use Kai T exact hand feeding formula and it's not because of personal preference it's just because it's what's available here close to me. It's easily available at most pet stores and it's the brand that they carry, so it's the brand that I use. There's a variety of other brands that are very good. The important thing is to get a commercial hand feeding formula that is made for baby birds. Question number four is how often do you have to feed them? This all depends on the species. For smaller birds, like the ones that I breed, finches, Generally speaking, the parents, whether in the wild or in captivity, will feed their chicks every 40 minutes to an hour. And that's what I like to do when I'm hand feeding. Question number five is, do you have to feed them at night? And the answer is no. Question number six is, how long before they start to eat on their own? Again, this is a very broad question and it all depends on the species itself. The majority of these finch species will be independent and fully weaned by the time they're about a month and a half to two months old. You have to make sure that they are eating on their own before you stop hand feeding. But sometimes you have to stop hand feeding a little bit or stop extend the feeding times a little bit from one hour to maybe an hour and a half or an hour and 40 minutes just to stimulate these birds to begin to eat on their own and start to try some of the new seeds that you're putting in their cage. Question number seven is at what temperature should I keep the baby birds? And this is a very important question because if they're not kept at the right temperature, they will end up dying. See, baby birds need to be kept at the correct temperature in order for them not only to survive but to digest the food that you are feeding. If they can't digest the food you're feeding, they won't be able to continue begging and they end up dying. So, for baby birds, the first six hours after hatching, I keep them from 98.5 degrees to 99 degrees Fahrenheit. After those first six hours, I lower the temperature down to 97 degrees Fahrenheit and I keep it like this for six days. From day six to 10, I lower the temperature again down to 95 degrees Fahrenheit and after days 10, the chick should have some pin feathers and the temperature is lowered again to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. By the time the chick reaches around 15 days old, depending on the species, most of them should be fully feathered by then and they're able to regulate their own body temperature so they are able to stay at room temperature. Now, if you're interested in learning more about these different temperatures at different stages of the chick's life, I've made a video showing how I use a baby wipe warmer as a broader for newly hatched chicks. I'm going to go ahead and I'll link that down in the description below if you're interested in checking out that video and learning a little bit more about these different temperatures that the baby birds need in order to develop correctly. The final question that we're going to answer today is what do I do if they won't open their mouth to eat? Now I'm assuming that this question will be for a baby bird, not an older bird that you pulled from the nest and it realizes that you are not the parent. Maybe it's afraid and that's why it's not opening its mouth. But if it's a young chick, and even with the older ones, 
If they're not opening their mouth after about an hour and a half or two hours, then that means that you have to take measures to keep this bird alive. And the only way that you're going to be able to feed it will be to crop feed. I've done a video showing how to crop feed and it's going to be listed in the description below. The link will be there if you're interested in learning a little bit more on how this method works. All right, guys, well, this is going to be the end of the video. I hope that these questions help you out. If you're ever interested in learning how to hand feed baby birds and you've had some of these questions, maybe here you'll be able to find some of those answers. If you've enjoyed the video, like always, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.